Hello everyone. Today is about line follower robots. What are line follower robots? How does they work? How to make one? So what are these line follower robots? A robot which can automatically track and follow a black line on a white surface or white line on a black surface. That's what line follower robots are. So how does it work? Basically, they all have sensors, a controller board and actuators or motors. So this Sensors are going to tell everything about the surface on which it is moving and the controller gets all the information and the controller is going to instruct the motors or actuators how to move. Move forward, take a left turn, take a right turn, whatever. So, for our robot, let's say we have left sensor and a right sensor. And when it is perfectly placed on the black line, both sensors on white surface so that it can move forward and it will be following the black line. When it goes and if the right sensor is falling on the black line and left sensor on the white surface that means we are going out of the line slightly so that we'll have to take a right turn so that it can follow again again just like that when the left sensor is on the black line and the right sensor is on the white surface again it's going out of the line so we'll have to take a left turn in this case this is how they work. This is how basically the line follower robot follows the line. So next we are going to make one. So as I told you, we need a controller. I'm using Arduino Uno, powerful, efficient, easy to use. Now motors, I'm using Bio motors, which is okay for my project. And this is the motor driver I'm using, L293D. And the wheels for my bio motors i'm using a caster wheel to support it because i have only two wheel uh, two motors and wheels and this is what i'm using this is called a forex sheet this is what i'm using uh, to build my body okay of the robot and finally important things sensors before moving to the building part let me explain about the sensors we are using infrared proximity sensors for the project. Let me tell you how this will work. So as you can see, it has a transparent LED and a black LED. So when it is powered, this transparent LED is going to emit infrared lights out of it. If there is a surface in front of it, the surface obviously will reflect the infrared lights coming from the white LED, I mean transparent LED, and this reflection will be received by the black LED present in the sensor which is actually called a photodiode. So if the surface is white let's say it's going to reflect all the infrared lights coming out of the transparent LED but let's say if it is a black one what will happen? The black is going to absorb all the infrared lights coming out of the transparent LED. So there is no reflection and sensor is not going to get a reflection. So that is how these sensors can identify white and black surface. So let's get into the building. This is the motor driver we are using L293D. As you can see this green block side MA MB writing will be connecting our motors in here. You see MA1 MA2 will be connecting one motors positive and negative into these pins. Like that other motors positive to MB1 and MB2. And you can see the middle pins written V plus and V minus the power source to drive the motors are connected to these pins positive and negative the other pins we have here b1 and b2 actually they are connected to mb1 and mb2 and ma2 and ma1 are connected to a1 and a2 
we will be connecting these pins on the digital pin of Arduino Uno so that it can control the motors and other four pins on the middle we are not using it so let's connect all right so we have done all the connections i have connected one motor here the other motor in here and we have the connection for the power source so these are the pins we are going to connect to the digital pin as you can see i'm not using these four pins so i have folded it folded them so let's connect these pins on the digital pins now i'm going to connect these pins on four five nine and ten so i have connected my motors power to 5 volt and ground of arduino when i plug the arduino power up the arduino it will get 5 volt and ground from the arduino uno's power category pins so the motor will work so we are using two sensors for the project as you can see i have wired them let's have a look at the pins there are vcc ground and out pin what I have done is I have connected both VCC together and grounds together and I have taken out a common pin from these pins one from the VCC one from the ground so that both uh, sensors will get powered and from the out pin I have connected a separate wire and all these wires I'm going to connect them in Arduino's digital pins So we have our right sensor and a left sensor. So the right sensor, I'm going to connect it, this, this orange wire to the third digital pin and the left sensor on the second digital pin of my Arduino Uno. We have a VCC and ground. As I told you, I have taken out the common points. So white is my VCC and black is my ground. I'm connecting them in Arduino's 5 volt and ground. So this is how we do it. Now let's see the programming part. So in here, first I have uh, declared LSP and RSP. It is left sensor pin and right sensor pin, two and three. Now we have motors connected to 4, 5, 10 and 9, LMP left motor positive, left motor negative, all that. RMB is right motor positive, right motor negative, all that. You can see it. Now in void setup, uh, we have to uh, declare the sensor pins as input and the motor pins as output. Now in void loop, first of all, I'm reading my sensor pins and storing it inside another variable called LSD and RSD. LSD is like light left sensor data and right sensor data. So I'm storing all the sensor data in two variables. And after that, as you can see, I have added all the uh, comments in the program. So I'm checking here LSD and RSD if both are zero. That means both are on the white surface. Then our robot should move forward so that it will be following the line so this is the move forward commands so again i'm checking if my left sensor is on black and right sensor is on white if that is the case we'll have to take a left turn and this is the commands now just like that i'm checking again uh, right sensor and left sensor if the right sensor is on the black and left sensor is on the white we have to take a right turn and this is the code for the right turn now if both are on the black then it will give one value and if both are one we are going to stop the robot so this is the programming part so now to upload this we have to choose the board Arduino you know in this project and you have to choose the correct port and after this we can actually upload the code go to sketch upload or you can use control u shortcut now you can see the status there like down done upload done uploading when you see this 
we are all good to go all right so we have done all the connections all the programming all the hardware part all set as you can see i have connected a battery to my robot this is a lithium iron battery 7.4 voltage i have connected it uh, into the black jack of Arduino. we can connect 7 to 12 volts in here so that it will get powered so let's test it now it seems like it's moving forward i'm placing it on my black line pucker it should move forward right now let's see now it's moving forward but it 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 actually it's not following the line that means it's not identifying the black and white surface i guess so actually what we have to do is we have to do some tuning for the ir proximity sensors then only it will identify this black and white surface now you can see there are two lights on it both are on okay so let's do one thing i'm gonna take it off from the surface now there is only one led working the other led is off the one which is working right now indicates that it's getting the power and it's on so i'm gonna put it a little back so that the other led is on that led indicates that it is getting reflections okay right now no the reason why it is not getting the reflection when i take it off the ground a little is because of the range every sensor has a range so let's put it back now even on the black surface it is getting a reflection that is what the indi leds indicates now what we have to do is we have to uh, fine tune this sensor using the trimmer port uh, presented this is the trimmer port i'm actually calibrating it now i'm, I'm turning it till the led is off now the led is off that means it's not getting the reflection back. That means the amount of IR is absorbed by that black surface. Now we try on the white surface. Still it's not getting the reflection. So I'm going to tune it again. Let's fine tune the sensor. Now it's getting the reflection on the white surface and on the black surface it's not getting the reflection. So this is the correct tuning for my sensor in order to identify my black and white surfaces. You all have to do this on your conditions. So let's do the other one. Hope you understood what is a line follower, how does it work and how to make one. If you have any suggestions, comments, do comment below. Check out the description for the hardware I have used and link to the program. There is another advanced line follower robot video coming soon. Stay tuned.